was in trouble. You know why? Uh, Okay, consider this. Okay, consider this. You know, as for like critics and all, individuals who who uh, are skeptic for some reason, they skeptical or may not believe. You know that my expression of these are the truth. Now they say hypothetically, if if this wasn't true, you know, um, and if it was true, let's let's look at it. If it was true, because some some of us probably don't understand why. You know, I would have to lie about this, but. Well, let's look, you know, hypothetically, right? if this was true, how would an individual, like, say, a person going through distortion campaigns for all this time, you know, and it went through hell from, or, you know, from violence to, you know, sexual violence to physical violence, you know, uh, weapons, and, you know, they went through all of these type of things. How, like, given the nature of distortion and smear campaigns, you know, as in accordance to what is described widely as, you know, various aspects of, or, you know, like worldwide, you know, like, well, just as far as like anyone who's been educated and informed of this, um, of this reality. So, if uh, an individual is in, these, in this situation, this type of attack has been placed against this person's life, you know, um, all at once, you know, both, you know, so, uh, and, and, it's, you know, as well as, you know, it's all like considering, so, you know, it's all in accordance to what I had already mentioned throughout the seasons. And so, knowing all of that, if this was indeed, you know, um, true, how else would an individual be able to capture proof of these situations other than recording, um, you know, recordings, recordings of their reaction to it or recordings to the actual manifestations of it? You know, how else would there be, you know, if, if you're in the surrounding, whereas, you know, at the time, you know, there's no one that, that you know, if anyone, if it's, if it's a matter of being a whole environment or a surrounding that's, that's in on, uh, you know, this organized harassment campaigns and stuff, then what else can a person do? You know, like, what, what other way you can't tell anyone you'll be gaslighting, you know? So... If you you express these things, and then it comes, and then soon, you know, in time, it, it you know the truth is shown, and it's proven that that indeed this was the case, this was happening, and now it's a matter of what happens now. You know, like what what's to be done about such a um, you know, such a uh, evil, you know, and such a terroristic thing, you know, because uh, now it's it's been it's been verified, you know. And so once it's verified, what is all I'm just speaking like a I man, as far as my personal situation, it was verified years ago. But, you know, like a I man, now, you know, speaking like, you know, if, if such a scenario was, you know, and it was proven and shown and verified, it's like, what, from that point on, like, what's the next steps, you know? And, um, and, um, I, I see it as a situation that, that would have to be taken a step at a time, you know. <clears throat> you know, as far as like piece by piece, you know. Because, you know, though the, the, it's an umbrella term, you know, uh, and the larger umbrella term is terrorism, you know. But then it's subsections on down, you know, and, and it's like, you know, what else, you know what I mean? What more do a person have to prove? And if that's and if the proof and that things that were shown, and then you know if a person, you know, is manifested and is you know exposed and, 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 and presented before a person before you, and why would the um, opposing party be so adamant into believing that this person has some kind of mental problem or something? Why would they be so adamant or so willing to, um, you know, dismiss or write this situation up? And dismiss it as, you know, something folly or something, you know, some something fairy tales or a theory or something like that, you know. Why wouldn't there be equal hearing like of of um, you know, that both both for that, you know, that that whole situation, like why does it have to be you know, why why does it 
much terrorism have to be defended. That's what I'm saying by with gaslighting. You know, and that's my question. You know, why does why would terrorism have to be defended with gaslighting? You know, or by gaslighting, be defended by gaslighting. You know, what I mean, it's clear that nobody likes terrorism. So why should it ever be defended in any case or situation? That's what I don't understand. You know. And that's what that would be in that situation, you know. Uh, and that's what individuals or you know, people, because you have to understand, even people that's involved in, in distortion and spear campaigns, they, they themselves are also defended, you know, by, by you know, attacking you or you know, right, you know, dismounting you or casting down what you got to say or what you think or not hearing, not wanting to listen or ignoring um, trying to put the problem and the blame back on you to make you seem look crazy and even think it yourself. You know, that's all an aspect of the distortion campaign as well. You know, all of these things are proven. I mean, no one can't tell me any different because I've been through it. You know, and I'm perfectly still mentally intact, you know. Mentally intact, man. It's psychological warfare that, that in mind games that and collusions and, and things people play on the person. It doesn't have any bearings over their personal temperament. It should, you know, not in the interest of like, you know, not not when it's regarding, you know, the natural standard of living of how a person a person should, you know, should and should not be subjected to what they should and should be subjected to in this world. Um, you know, and that's my thing. You know. So, you know, as far as, like, people writing things on, why not just, and if you, you know, and if you can't do anything about it, then why do gaslighting about it? You know, why do something that's always contradictory if you're not involved in it on yourself, you know? Why oppose it so adamantly, you know, without even taking time to consider, you know, what this individual might, you know what I'm saying? Something other than something that's going to make it seem as though it's them. What if it's not them? What if it's really, honestly, truly not them? They're not, they don't have the problem. The problem was, in fact, terrorism from outside parties and forces. You know? And that's my thing, you know? It's crazy. So, so quick to turn it and flip it and twist stuff up and, and continue to perpetuate distortion and, you know, terroristic action. That's what it is, distortion, you know? And want to perpetuate it and keep it up, in spite of you know being illuminated, even to the end that illumination. Like you know, it's to the point now where that doesn't happen. You know, it's to the point. You know, so at that point there, hypothetically, you know, it's not. You know, it's past that. You know, it's past a proof. Looking, it's, it's past looking for proof. You know, what I mean, the only way it goes back to that level is if you know whatever someone or something is, is actively or you know actively actively pursuing you know contradictory you know evidence or or something like you know that that can contradict the um, the testimonies or, or the stories and the, you know allegation or whatever that this person brings you know in, in, in a search for you know in, in despondency you know um, in grief you know, in distress. You know, why should all those things be be, be written on, you know, and, and, and turned away? You know, why why should an individual not? You know, it's, it seems as though there's double standards and biases, you know, and that right there is not, that's not all um, equal, you know. And so, my thing, that's what I'm saying, like, you know, you, why take the time to hear it? And see what's going on, you know, before you write something off and something is not. Because you know, distortion campaigns, and, and we know terrorism is real. You know, why would it all of a sudden be false, you know, after being proven real so many times? Why would it all of, all of a sudden be false with in regards to a specific person or something? You know, knowing that, that they've been, you know, they, they claim to have been you know, a victim of these type of terrorism campaigns, then you know what they consist of and the nature of them. Therefore, you 
know, it's very high probability that whatever information that you're going on, you know, that, that would render this individual incapable of speaking or expressing the truth or, 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 or being honest or this situation being legitimate, then you know that that very well is a high probability that that itself was false. That's a high probability of that being false. Then you know what's what's the problem? Like, you know, what's the what's the problem? What is that wall right there? You know, that wall is not supposed to be there. You know, it's simple. It's one simple. It's just one simple explanation and one simple action that's needed. You know, well, it's never going to be simple given the nature of and the complexity of these types of things, but there's a right and there's a wrong way, you know, and it's simple and it's clear.